Have you ever pondered over the complexity of the structures that animals create? Every day, in the heart of nature, unsung architects are at work. These builders do not use blueprints, nor do they have fancy degrees. Yet their creations are marvels of complexity, intricacy, and sheer architectural genius. They are the animals of our world, crafting structures that serve as homes, fortresses, and even cities. From the labyrinthine ant colonies hidden beneath our feet, to the towering termite mounds that punctuate the savanna landscape, these structures reflect a world unseen. Consider the artistry of bird nests, each uniquely adapted to its environment, or the organized chaos within a bustling beehive. Let's not forget the underwater cities, silent and beautiful, teeming with marine life. These natural metropolises are not mere shelters, they are the embodiment of survival, adaptation and social organization. They are a testament to the extraordinary capabilities of our co-inhabitants on this planet. So, join us as we delve into the intricate world of animal architects. Scene script. Picture a bustling city meticulously organized and efficiently run, now imagine it, under your feet, in the world of ant colonies. Welcome to one of nature's most fascinating wonders, the ant colony. A typical ant colony is a hub of activity, humming with life and brimming with purpose. It's a complex network of tunnels and chambers, each designed with a specific function in mind. From nurseries for the young to food storage rooms and even waste disposal areas, these colonies are the epitome of architectural brilliance. But what's even more remarkable is the ants' division of labor. Each ant, be it a worker, soldier or the queen, has a role to play. The worker ants, the backbone of the colony are tireless builders and gatherers. They dig tunnels, forage for food and care for the young. They're the ones who make the colony tick. The soldier ants, with their large jaws and formidable strength, protect the colony from threats. And at the heart of it all is the queen, the mother of the colony, whose sole job is to lay eggs and ensure the colony's survival. Communication is key in these bustling cities. Ants use a complex system of chemical signals or pheromones to communicate, whether it's leading others to a food source or signaling danger these tiny creatures have a language all their own. And then, there's defense. Ants are fiercely protective of their homes, from biting and stinging to using their own bodies to plug entrances, ants will go to great lengths to defend their colonies. But it's not all work in the ant world, some species even engage in play, a behavior that's thought to help them learn and develop skills. These tiny creatures it seems, know a thing or two about work-life balance. So the next time you see an anthill, take a moment to appreciate the bustling city beneath. Each grain of soil, each tunnel and each ant, playing its part in a finely tuned machine. Indeed, the ant colony is a testament to the marvels of nature's craftsmanship. From the underground we now turn to the towering marvels of the natural world, termite mounds. Imagine if you will a city erected not by cranes and bulldozers, but by a horde of tiny architects, each no bigger than a grain of rice. This is the world of the termite mound, a natural phenomenon that is as awe-inspiring as it is complex. These architectural marvels are not just dirt piles but meticulously structured habitats. Built from saliva, dirt and dung, the mounds provide a stable home for the termite colonies, protecting them from the elements and predators. But there's more to these mounds than meets the eye. Inside these termite towers, you'd find an intricate network of tunnels and chambers, each serving a specific purpose. From nurseries for the young, to granaries for food storage, and even fungus gardens for cultivation, these mounds are a testament to the termites' organizational prowess and their ability to adapt to their environment. One of the most fascinating aspects of a termite mound is its ventilation system. Just like a modern skyscraper, these mounds are equipped with a natural air conditioning system. The design of the mound allows for the regulation of temperature and humidity essential for the survival of the colony within. Now let's delve into the society of the mound. Much like a well-run city, termite colonies are divided into different castes, each with a specific role to play. Worker termites are the builders and maintainers of the mound, soldier termites defend the colony, and then there are the elates, the future kings and queens of new colonies. These kings and queens, once they have matured, embark on a nuptial flight, creating new colonies and thus new mounds, perpetuating the cycle of life and construction. The termite mound in its towering glory is more than a pile of dirt. It's a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of nature's tiny builders. It's a living, breathing monument to the complexity of life in the smallest of creatures. These termite skyscrapers stand as symbols of the incredible ingenuity of nature's builders. 
From earthbound structures, let's soar to the treetops and explore the artistic creations of birds. The avian world is a hotbed of architectural innovation, where each species brings a unique flair to nest building. Consider the weaver bird, the master seamstress of the bird world. Using their sharp beaks as needles, they weave intricate nests from long blades of grass, palm leaves, or twigs. The nests dangle from tree branches, a brilliant strategy to keep their eggs safe from predators on the ground. Then, there's the sociable weaver, the communal builder. These birds, native to the arid regions of southern Africa, construct massive communal nests that can house up to 500 birds. These nests, resembling haystacks hung from trees or telephone poles, are a testament to avian cooperation and engineering. The inside is a labyrinth of chambers, each a cozy abode for a pair of birds and their offspring. In the colder regions, birds like the dipper take a different approach. They construct dome-shaped nests with moss and grass, often on riverbanks or streams. The moss acts as a natural insulator keeping the nest warm even in freezing temperatures. And let's not forget the bowerbirds of Australia and New Guinea, the true artists in the bird world. Male bowerbirds create elaborate structures, not for rearing young, but to attract a mate. They adorn these bowers with brightly colored objects from feathers and pebbles to berries and shells, showcasing not just architectural prowess, but an aesthetic sense too. These examples illustrate how birds adapt their nest building techniques to their environments. Whether it's the weaver birds hanging nests, the sociable weavers communal structures, the dippers insulated domes, or the bower birds artistic masterpieces, each bird species uses materials and designs best suited for their survival and reproductive success. In the world of avian architecture, each nest is a unique masterpiece. From simple hollows to complex woven structures, these nests are a testament to the bird's adaptability, intelligence, and incredible instinctive skills. And as we'll discover, this architectural prowess isn't limited to the skies. From the treetops we move to the regal palaces of the natural world. Beehives. These buzzing fortresses are more than just homes. They are meticulously organized cities, each with its own distinct hierarchy and division of labor. The beehive structure is a masterclass in natural engineering built entirely by worker bees using beeswax secreted from their abdomens. Within these waxen walls, each bee has a role to play. The worker bees, the hive's tireless laborers, are responsible for everything from foraging for nectar and pollen, to caring for the young, to maintaining the hive. Then there are the drones, the hive's only males, who serve one primary purpose, to mate with a new queen. Speaking of queens, each hive has only one. The queen, the mother of all bees in the hive, has a singularly important job, to lay the eggs that will spawn the hive's next generation of bees. Her majesty's role is so vital that the other bees attend to her every need. But it's not all work in a beehive. There's sweetness too. The bees' relentless foraging is all for a cause, to produce honey. This intricate process involves bees transforming nectar collected from flowers into honey, storing it in honeycomb cells, and sealing it with a wax cap for later use. The beehive, a monument to the power of teamwork, is a marvel of natural engineering. Finally, let's plunge into the depths of the ocean to explore the hidden world of underwater structures. Down where the sun's rays struggle to reach, an intricate world of marine architecture thrives. This underwater realm is home to a variety of creatures who are not just residents, but also the architects of their own habitats. Take coral reefs, for instance. These vibrant underwater cities are built by countless tiny architects, the corals. Each coral polyp secretes a hard calcium carbonate skeleton, which gradually forms the complex, multi-layered structure of a reef. With their labyrinth of nooks and crannies, coral reefs provide shelter, breeding grounds, and hunting territories for a multitude of marine species. Similarly, other marine creatures are also known for their architectural prowess. Consider the ingenious tube worms, who construct intricate tunnels in the seafloor, or the tiny caddisfly larvae, who craft protective cases from pebbles, sand, and shell fragments. Then there are the collaborative efforts of marine organisms. The kelp forests, for example, are not built by a single species, but by a community of creatures, each contributing to the growth and maintenance of these towering underwater jungles. These underwater cities remind us that nature's architectural prowess extends even into the depths of the sea. They are a testament to the collective effort, resilience, and adaptability of marine life, and a shining example of the incredible complexity and diversity found in the natural world. 
Our journey through the world of animal-made structures has been nothing short of awe-inspiring. We have ventured deep into ant colonies, marveled at the architectural genius of termite mounds, admired the diversity and adaptability of bird nests, and uncovered the sophisticated organization within beehives. We've even plunged into the depths of the oceans to discover the hidden cities beneath the waves. Each of these structures is a testament to the complexity and diversity of life on Earth, reflecting the ingenuity and resilience of its builders. From the smallest ant to the largest termite, from the humblest bird to the most industrious bee, from the tiniest coral polyp to the most massive marine organism, each contributes to the grand tapestry of the natural world in its own unique way. Indeed, the natural world is full of unsung architects, relentlessly shaping the landscape in ways more intricate and astounding than we can ever imagine.